Happy Halloween, digital animation. Um, what I wanted to do is quickly do today's lesson um, again, just quietly in my room, just so you guys can see it um, without any distractions. And that way you can kind of click and manage through the lecture a lot easier. So this is the same exact demo um, we just did in class, but without me in front of the class. So uh, I'm giving you the option of making whatever pumpkin you choose. And you don't have to follow this exact shape. You can make whatever pumpkin you want. I want you to have as much choice and control. I'm going to show you um, an easy mode version of, the, of how to do the pumpkin second, but I'll show you the more challenging way to do this pumpkin first with all of the ridges. The first thing you're going to want to ask yourself is how many ridges you want on that pumpkin. So this is a, a sphere of 20 um, rows, and then this is a sphere of like 12 rows. And so if you think about pumpkins, I'm just going to this little stock image, right? This has really, really tiny ridges, right? And some of these have really big fat ridges. Um, every pumpkin's different, right? So you're gonna decide how you want your pumpkin to, to look and feel at the end. So I'm gonna show, explain how you can make different options. But we'll start with the, the basic first. So what you wanna do is you want to go to Create Polygon Primitives Sphere Options. Once again, Create Polygon Primitives Sphere Options right here. All right, the default is 20 by 20, and that's what I'm going to use. But if you wanted fatter faces, maybe you can try 12 by 12, right? If you wanted like fatter rows of, for the gourd. If you wanted more really, really tiny rows, it's going to be a lot more work, but you can like crank it up to 30, and that's going to be a lot of teeny tiny little rows. What I'm going to do is just stick to the basics and choose 20. In easy mode, I'm going to pull these down to 12. So I'm going to hit Create. And I have my nice, perfect little sphere right here. All right, first thing we want to do is we're going to chamfer those vertexes. What that does is it creates an end gon. And I know I've been telling you to avoid end gons, but for the sake of our 3D print, and since this is a rather insignificant piece, um, we can have this super end gon at the top and the bottom. So how we do that is we hold the shift key, we right click, and choose chamfer. Make sure that vertex is selected. So I go to vertex mode. Select that top vertex, shift, right click, chamfer. And I get this nice big N-Gon face right there in the middle instead of a vertex. I want to do it to the bottom too. Um, we're going to do this first because that um, otherwise when we select all the faces, I'll have this extra triangle here. Um, and it'll, it'll, it'll just get weird. So we do that first. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select alternate rows of faces. And we do that by doing the shift double click trick. So I'm going to click on one face, hold the shift key, double click the one right next to it. It gives me that row of faces. I'm just going to keep doing that. Sh click one face, double click the one right next to it. It could be any face. Uh, it doesn't have to be that top one, but um, as long as it's the one right next to it. And notice I'm skipping rows. And I'm going to hit E, command E. I'm going to make my extrusion tool global, hit that scale box to activate the center one, and just push it out just a little bit to have some nice grooves. I'm going to do the opposite rows now. So I'm going to do the same process, but the ones I didn't extrude out. Oops. And I accidentally had that center chamfer face selected when I extruded, which I'm going to undo, deselect that. Oh, let's do that again. Everyone makes mistakes. That's why pencils have erasers, yada, yada, yada. All right, you wanna make sure that one, that center one isn't extruded. Uh, if it is extruded, I guess it's no big deal. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it unextruded. I'm gonna hit Command E, hit Global, and I'm gonna scale it in. Oop, scale it out. I'm gonna do the exact opposite set of faces now, but the same exact process, so. Every set of faces. Get selected. Every row. Ooh. Undo is your friend. There you go. So now I got the other 10 rows. I'm going to extrude those again. Make my extrude tool global. Hit the box to activate the center and extrude out. Get faces about the relative thing. And you might be saying, oh, those look exactly the same. But if I, I can make them different widths if I really wanted to. And once again, I have that center face still selected. So let me 
do it one more time. This is supposed to be faster. There you go. Make sure the bottom one is deselected. There you go. Command E, hit global, and extrude just like that. And you might be saying those look exactly the same. But when I hit three mode, put that an object for a second, I get these nice, cool little ridges. Okay. No pumpkin is ever a perfect sphere. So the next step we want to do is we want to deform it with a lattice. So this is something new I haven't shown you guys yet. So I'm going to go up here to deform and I'm going to choose lattice options. And the default is 255. No, it's 252. You want to change that to 3, 3, and 3. So that first level of division is just make 3, 3, 3 and hit create. What this does is it gives you a little bit of a box around the sphere here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit um, right click and choose lattice point. Now make sure that you're right clicking over the lattice and not the object. And the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to just take that center vertex there and push it in. And now I'm getting this nice little pumpkin shape. And if this is all you do, to get that pumpkin shape, fantastic. But you can do more. If you wanted to make a, if you go back to those little pictures, right? They come in all shapes and sizes. They're not all perfectly circles. They're, some of them look more like a gourd. Some of them look, right? Some of them look like, a, like, like I just said, a gourd. Some of them are long, some of them are round. So you can make your pumpkin look how you like to make pumpkin. So if I wanted to make this a little bit longer, maybe pull that up. Realize I'm probably gonna have to grab that center one and pull that in a little bit more, something more like that. And then if you're the type of person that likes them being symmetrical, by all means, keep it symmetrical, but you could do a couple other things here. You can scale them out, they look a little flatter on the bottom or something. Um, you could also do something like this and give it a twist or maybe a little lopsided, or you can grab just one or two of these control vertexes or lat lattice vertexes and really kind of misshapen it to make just kind of make it look more organic. That is up to you. It, it'll be a little harder to, to sculpt the face because you won't have some symmetry selection, but um, it gives it that nice, cool, more natural looking feel to it. Yeah. Something like that. Now, once you're all done, and you're happy with that shape, the next piece that you're going to do is, if I delete the lattice, it actually goes back to its original shape. So what I have to do is I have to go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. Oops, you have to make sure the pumpkin is selected, sorry. Edit, Delete by Type, History. And now, this pumpkin is ready to be sculpted a little bit more. But let me show you easy mode. If you were like, Mr. G, that's too hard. I'm still a beginner. Please don't do that for us. Easy mode, um, you don't have to do all the extrusions. You can get a decent pumpkin without making those extrusions. Uh, just be, again, cognizant of how many ridges you want. So I'm going to go to Create Polygon Primitive Sphere. This time I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to go 12 and 12. So I have way less faces. So it won't look as round in one mode, but we're going to do most of it in three mode anyway. And so the easy mode for pumpkin is to go to edge on it with a with a sphere with less faces, and I'm just gonna double click every other row of edges. So alternating rows of edges, and again, I'm just gonna hit scale R and kind of scale those out, and then maybe push that in a little so it's more round, and then I'm gonna do the opposite. to this one, to the to the inside ones, and kind of, I'm gonna scale those in. You don't necessarily have to do that part, but it'll, it'll help make it look a little bit more dramatic. Something like that. That's what I would call the easy mode pumpkin. You gotta do one more, one or two more things. You could just squash and stretch it here, but um, I do like you to play with lattice and it's pretty easy. So if you go to object mode, even if you're doing easy mode pumpkin, be in object mode, go to deform lattice options, Make sure the first three numbers are three by three by three, and you get this cool lattice, and you can do the same little effects just as before. Take that center lattice point, 
pull it in and it's looking more and more like a pumpkin. Take this bottom one, pull it up like that. That's, that's a pretty good looking pumpkin right there. So again, this is easy mode, so I'm, I'm a, uh, oh, and you can also adjust that within the lattice. Um, in object mode, I'm gonna hit edit, delete by type history, and now I have my easy mode pumpkin. All right, last step is just to make the stem. So in, for this guy, I'm gonna grab that center and gone face right there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger before I start extruding. And then hit extrude, command E. And I'd like you to have some form of a stem, even if it's just straight up and it's, it's nubbed off like this. Oop. That's totally fine. Um, if you wanted to model it more, you know, give it some squiggles and some rotations and move it around, uh, that would work too. But this, that is all I need. We need a stem because remember we're going to make a 3D print and that's to help pull the lid off. So definitely make yourself some form of a stem um, just so you have some sort of something to put your fingers on when we lift the, the lid off of the pumpkin. If you're in easy mode, we don't have that chamfer vertex. So you can just grab these 12 triangles or however many triangles you had to make that center circle. I missed one right here. I'm gonna hit extrude. I'll go global first and I'll pull it out. Flatten it up a little bit. Um, that is way too big for my stem, so I'm gonna let it come in, pull it down, extrude again, pull it up, pull it in, a little bit more, extrude, give it a little rotate this time. There you go, one more extrusion, there you go. And that's how you get your basic pumpkins. That's the hard mode. That's with um, selecting faces and extruding. And that's with edges. Pick your poison. Pick whichever one you feel works best for you. Next, we'll get to sculpting the faces.